Here is Edgar Allan Poe's The Cask of Amontillado or Amontillado in Five Minutes. It's a story of death, revenge, irony, and horror. Because Poe's probably one of the best horror writers ever, it gets classified as a horror story more than anything else. Here's the basic plot. Montresor, the main character, is insulted, vows revenge on Fortunato. Montresor finds Fortunato on the street. Fortunato is drunk. It's during the carnival season. And then Montresor uses Fortunato's ego against him, lures him into the basement to taste the Amontillado. The story is, Montresor says, I have gotten and obtained and basically bought a pipe, he calls it in the story, a bottle, a flask of Spanish table wine, Amontillado, and he needs someone to taste it. And Fortunato, who's drunk, says, okay, I am the expert, and I, Fortunato is an arrogant man, and Montresor is glad to use his ego against him, and he lures him down into the crypts of the Montresor basement, into the catacombs, and Montresor, at the end of the catacombs, where it is very dark and very stuffy and no one ever goes, shackles, handcuffs Fortunato to the wall, and then proceeds to build a brick false wall in front of Fortunato, effectively burying him alive. In the first paragraph, you get the reason for this. Montresor says that Fortunato has been bothering him for who knows how long, but then Fortunato insulted Montresor, and that is when Montresor began plotting this revenge, and hence a revenge story. Montresor is the main character. It translates from the French, my treasure, a very ironic, as one would bury treasure. The antagonist is Fortunato, who is ironically not fortunate at all, as he is buried alive and goes to his death. The setting is an interesting one. It's carnival season before Lent, probably in a city like Florence in Italy. And everybody is partying and everybody is happy, which is exceedingly ironic because the story is not a happy one, nor a fun one, nor really having anything to do with the outer setting of the story. The irony is exceedingly rich. Dramatic irony is a little bit different. Your teacher may ask you about this. Uh, you know that Montresor wants revenge on Fortunato, so you sit and watch. You are the audience, and you know what's going to happen to Fortunato. We know it's a trap. We know it's just a cover story to get him down into the basement, and we watch in horror as he is lured to his death by his own ego, right? Uh, Fortunato's own ego and arrogance. We watch Montresor keep Fortunato drunk, and in doing this, it is the undoing of Fortunato, and he's bricked up, buried alive, and the story ends with Montresor saying, it has been half a century, 50 years, since anyone has been down there. And his revenge is complete, and Fortunato dies. And that's the whole story.